what we found, Arsh's hot press move paper and a coat of uh, drawing ink, some magenta red as a foundation for doing pastel over. As I'm going to be doing some rhododendrons, it seems a good idea to have a pink background to allow the flowers to blow through the flowers if I need it. So this will give me a nice surface. The um, putting the ink on like this just raises the surface up a fraction more as well to give it a little bit more of a king, which is ideal. I'm using a hate just to put it on. I've got plenty of it. Let it dry out. It's stretch paper, so it should uh, be just fine. It should be about right. It's just starting to raise the surface a fraction, which is what I wanted. Come back to the rhododendron walk here and they should all be out now. So we're going to try and do a pastel today. Already look we've got some wonderful compositions here. And these glowing colours through the foliage. It's going to be very beautiful. I'm going to have to come back with the acrylics and some big canvases as well. Just look at this. Can't really go wrong here can we? Gorgeous. decide where we're going to stop in this wonderful place. We see I've got a piece of Artis 140 hot pressed which has been stained with some ink. Just where I think I'm going to set up it's difficult to some lovely spots. Look at that gorgeous white over there. Fantastic, isn't it? Come around with the camera again and film the whole lot. Now it's all out. Of course, what I've got to consider as well is the light changing the rest of the afternoon. Some glorious pinks as well as whites and purples. Cascading into these compositions. Not glorious. It's always so gorgeous looking through with the light shining through the petals as well. I think these are just a bit past their sell by date though. Quite a nice composition here. Good dog, fetch it. Good girl. Yes, you fetch a stick. There's a good dog. Have a swing. That's a good girl. Yes, good dog. Fetch it. Good dog. You fetch it here. Fetch it here. Fetch it here. Fetch it. Good dog. Fetch it. Good girl. Have some fun. There's a good dog. Yes. Come on then. Off we go. There's a good dog. <laughs> is that a good game, is it? Hey. <laughs> Reds here. That in itself make a lovely painting. Trying to find a few different colours together, but not easy to do. Here's an interesting spot. These whites and reds behind. Still not quite getting what I want though. Lovely as they are. Howdy dog! Come here. There, here's a good dog. Come on, come here. I'm not quite getting the composition I want enough. I could get closer into that. Let's look at these glorious colours in the sunlight. Look at this plethora of colours. Yes, look at it, it's so gorgeous on a summer's day. It's got potential for me. That will make quite a nice picture. Just look at this as we come round the pond. And reflections, that red over in there, wow.
picture here, taking in this lot, just to the right. In fact, almost what I've got in, whether to have that much sky in or to take the sky out a bit like that. Gorgeous flash pinks and purples and reds. The reflections in the water here. I decide between this composition and that one back there, it's not easy. a nice spot to hide away in perhaps for a painting. Yes there could be a painting here sometime. I think this place wins. I would have to set up here somehow to take in this lovely scene going through there. Looking about here don't you? Got some nice leaves in the foreground. Something like that. Set the camera up somehow without getting in the way. And I've got my unisons and my inscribes today so that I've got the brighter pinks if I need them. Uh, I'm going to map out just with a little grey first the actual composition and then start working in the mid and deeper tones and work through right back up to my lights on top with a bit of luck. Well, let's work out this composition first of all then. Let's get my easel set up a silhouette up here of the sky. Comes down to there and then those trees come down behind there. the tr tree trunks inside, the trunks of the, how do you call them, trees, actually shrubs of rhododendrons, but here, I mean, the size they are now, I had this thought a while ago where somebody said, well, are they trees or are they shrubs, but to me, those things are big enough, they, what, are they 20 foot tall, 25, the trees, rhododendron trees to me, but never mind, all as you wish, it's not so important in the great scheme of things, is it? The box up. Normally I have this on a chair beside me so I can reach to it easily. Today I haven't got that luxury. So uh, straight away start getting in some of this lovely sky up here so I can work in and around that. I don't mind that pink coming through there just a bit to have the glow in the sky. Awesome colour drawing ink that I've been given to try out. I must admit I'm quite impressed with it. It's quite strong. Well, it's very strong actually. But it wasn't that expected either. Perhaps some specialist crafts who do some very, very good, more inexpensive um, tree comes right up and through down here. Okay, let's try and get some of that in there now. And then of course the sky coming back into it. It takes it pastel fairly well this paper as you can see. This hope you can see. Back to my light green again and just bring a bit of that out in here. And then it goes a bit cooler. We've got a, a more turquoise coming up into the trees then behind here. Take too much of the pink away because I want to leave some of that showing with my flowers. It's going to be nice to use pastels a bit more. I haven't used them for really use them seriously for quite a while. And I want to kill this colour at the moment, then to rub it right in it with his first coats and then come back. Build them up again afterwards. Nice and fresh because when you rub the pastel in it kills it. So uh, we're going to lose these colours at first, but I'm going to bring them back later on, I hope. Blocking and blending then onto here at the minute. dark down in there and we've got these lovely reeds coming up and through. Just to indicate the branches coming through. Just 
It's a very, very deep blue purple I'm using at the moment. Just to mark in these darks. And I must be able to not put too much pastel on, or I'm going to not be able to put on my very light pinks in a minute when I need to. I almost brought two papers down today. I was going to put one on the back and one on the front. I decided against that until I saw what was down here again. I start to feel some detail already. These twigs and branches are coming in and I start to bring these leaves. I'm going to hear these dark leaves that are against the sky here. I didn't bring a brush with me so I can't brush off the pastel today. If I put too much on I'm going to have a job so I'm going to make sure that I just get the right amounts. And it is lovely trees coming in, dark into here, twisting up and through behind here. Too much pastel on the surface yet. I do want it down behind here. These reflective blues from the sky help against the pinks. Base colour onto here. I just want the red going through there only. But my darks and even more of it later, but I'm not quite ready for this deep blues yet, not quite. We can paint with highlights of light. We can, if you've got these base coats on, I can really start to pick out these beautiful colours. One colour standing in front of another, all the different colour hues as well, these different beautiful warms and greens, uh, warms and cool greens and so on, that are happening into here. Sitting into some details in places that I wouldn't normally get to at this stage, but it doesn't really matter as long as I keep the whole thing going. And yellow's coming through here, and I've just got my new yellow, so I'm going to be able to try those out now a little bit. I'm really getting onto some darks, so I wouldn't normally use this soon, but you can see I'm going to need to establish these. These lovely mauves in between down here now. Just about got my background shading in now to be ready to put on the, the pinks. Won't be long now. Trying to start feeling these bits of green as coming out. Hoping to come back in with more turquoise into this later. quite hard at times with the pastel just to get pure pastel on. I want nice pure colours. I'm not blending much now. I want nice pure colours on. And we come through to our lovely light bright colours again. Behind here. Shining through. Are you comfortable are you dog? Yes you are. Let's make a start, shall we? I'm going to try some of my magenta, which isn't a unison. It's a Jackson's magenta. But uh, I know that unison are going to try and get some out in the future. I've got pure colour going on here now. Nice thick layers of pure colour. Really bright cadmium red just down here. One minute. There's just so much to do, isn't there? But it's good for me because I really I like being under pressure. I think better under pressure, working fast and having to make these decisions. And I think it's now time to just look at the um, unison version of that. You see, it's a bit darker, it's a bit duller, but it's all right for these shadow bits back into here. I use the inscribes, I'm going back to a very light pink, um, not a bright pink, but a light pink of the 
unicolor, which will just give me this lovely light over the top of the, with a little bit of cream into that I think as well. So if I use that, and then I use a bit of very light cream, maybe a very light cream onto that, hopefully, yes there we go, I start to get the effect of it as it comes light around here. So this very light pink and then the cream might just give me it. So I'm going to just turn the camera off in a minute because I'm getting very low on battery power and I do want to seem to see the end of the picture. I can't just see and catch up. We've got the medium pinks in now and I'm just starting to work on these lovely light sparkly bits around the outside of the flowers and the lighter leaves. And I'm going to come back in with light blue on these later as well which will really do it. Let's do a little bit now just to show you. This will also give it that sparkle against the pinks because it's an opposite warm and cool. Give that feeling of the cool light shining across them. Do you see what I mean? The, the uh, cool red. Now let's look at some of the warmer red. I was going to come in here into some of these and that will really make that other one stand out more. And I'm going to put a bit of origin with this as well in a minute to really find these beautiful warm the red as I really like but it'll do. And that's going to be the same up here. We've got this red playing in amongst these cools here. I have a very very light pink. I just want to try and get a little bit of this into here. This really bright pink just to bring out a bit of the very light reflections here on the so I really could do with a soft pastel as bright as this. But I'm building up my last layers of pastel with these. When I push on a hard pastel like this, I can't, uh, I can't go more over that. Really. I'm starting to use the very darks now. Get the shadows in. Uh, oil pastel? No, they're, they're all these soft pastels. They're soft pastels, yeah. yeah. See, they just scared me right out of those at University of Houston. The dust and all, and if you don't have the proper ventilation and fan and stuff indoors, so you're, bad you're this, breathing yeah. up. And yeah. I, are you using a sandboard? Yeah. 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 At the moment, I'm going to go down right down to a black now. I haven't been using real darks yet. I just want to get some of the really darks in just to just to show against in places, not too much just in places here and there where I want a real dark to just show against the colours. So but these dark colours do look like colours and not just a muddy black. Little, two little bits of dark down here into the little bits of stick and stuff that are happening down here will really help to bring these dark colours out. This is a new yellow I've just got. It's um, A11. I've run out of yellows and a very good selection. They just asked you listen to send me a few more on and they very kindly sent on the ones I need and, and now today I'm actually using them for the first time. You can see with some effect. I, hope. I haven't used my uh, ultramarine blues or the, or the strong blues yet which I want to use again a bit more in a minute. So I'll just start using a little bit of the ultramarine down here into these lovely cool colours that are coming down. This cool's coming in behind now into the trees a lot more than earlier on because it's, a, it's later in the afternoon. We spent about two hours on this, I think. I'm going to spoil it, but equally, I've got to take some chances. If you don't take risks, we're not going to move forward at all, are we? So we need to take some chances. Reflecting. Oh, new colours, not always what you expect. You've really got to look and see. Now these last touches are the ones that matter most and we can really, really find these colours. Well I think we're nearly there. Just came on a bit more, see if I can find those extra few colours. Just putting a bit of very light cream in here and there now. Catch the sunlight on the edge of these branches. What I was saying about the inscribe sets, they have these very bright colours which we can now, if we want to, just use on some of these, just to pick out a little bit of the brighter pinks and 
flash colours a little bit, but they're much harder, so they're harder to get on. Just got these last colours. I've got a nice bright peach flavoured one here. We'll just give a little bit more glow to the... Wow, that looks fantastic! <laughs> How long have you been out that for? Two and a half hours now, longer than usual. <laughs> it's beautiful, I love it! It's so colourful! Light. A few darks against the lights here, just to bring it out again. Make sure the light really sings. See the difference that makes. It just just brings out a kind of three-dimensional feel to it. Put in a few last white highlights here and there. She has to pull these colours out a bit in places. Another light's just shining onto some of these leaves. Not quite sure about the balance here. I'd like that to balance a bit better across there. I don't have to fiddle too much now because I've got, almost got it. I just feel I need to do something a bit more with the way it curls off here. I can't quite see what. Well, I think I'm almost done here. Um, I should come down and do a big acrylic shortly as well. There's plenty of uh, material to paint, isn't there? A plethora of it. It was nice to have done this larger pastel. I want to try something on pastel paper next. And well, I'd like to also do a um, pastel and water and the colour as well and get a bit looser. This one's a little bit tight, but uh, for the first one to get myself going out on plein air uh, on this particular subject, hopefully uh, it's worked. Mm -hmm.